Good morning, Michelle here. New workout today. It's already humid out here. I had to move everything out of the way. So I'm already sweating and warmed up. Uh, new workout. Um, I like the 20-20-20 that we did the other day. So I thought I'd do something different. I thought I'd do 20-20-20. There's six exercises, totally different from the finishers the other day. We're gonna do two rounds of that. That's our warm up. That's gonna start engaging our glutes and our abs and getting us ready for part two, which is a minute of work, no rest. And there's 11 exercises. We're gonna do two rounds of that. Then we're gonna go back around to part one and we're gonna do one more round just to finish off our legs with the tight toning part. And then we're gonna do part one, or part two one more time just so we can collapse on the floor in, a, in our puddle of sweat, okay? So um, I will have the breakdown on mycrazyworkout.com. Uh, if you like my video, hit a th thumbs up, leave any comments, and let's get started. I have a box today. You don't have to use a box if you don't want to. Um, bench, step stool, whatever you have. You don't have to use that though. You can do everything on the floor. If you're a beginner and you want to stay on the floor, totally fine. You stay on the floor. Timer is, like I said, 20 seconds. We're going to do 18 rounds because there are um, six lines of exercises, but remember it's 20, 20, 20, so there's three exercises for each one. And let's get started. I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you. Weights. You can use weights if you want to. We'll do, we'll do no weights for the beginners for the first round. And then we'll, I'll, I'll add in the weights if you want to do the weights. Okay, so. Let, um, as soon as I hit this timer, we're going. So you're gonna plant your right leg and we're gonna do, a, you're gonna keep it up there. We're gonna do a left side lift, okay? So you're gonna press through the heel of the right leg and lift up. Now, if you're not doing it to a step, you would do it on the floor as a squat. Squat, drop into that right leg, feel it in that right glute, press through that heel, okay? Turn, we're gonna do a single leg balance squat. Again, if you're on the floor, you just turn and kept that right leg on the floor and you're lowering down. It's a right lunge. You're dropping that knee towards the floor, but you're not touching that right knee on the floor. You wanna keep, uh, keep those muscles engaged. Hold it here for a pulse. Pulse, pulse, squeeze that butt, pulse. Feel it in the quad on the left leg when you're standing on and the butt in the right leg as you lower down and press back up we're going to the left side next so I'm gonna have to shift my box okay. left leg up if you're on the floor it's a left squat kick the leg out side leg lift now if you're a beginner and you don't want to lift that leg up or you can't you can tap it to the side. Single leg balance squat. We're gonna pulse next. Then we're gonna go into our abdominals, our obliques. And then we're gonna go back again to our butts with different exercises. Pulse. It's humid out here today. Holy smokes. Wow. Okay, into a right side plank. Reach under. Under and back up. You press out of that shoulder of the right arm. Make sure your weight is distributed in your hand from your palm all the way to your fingertips. If this is too much, lower your knee. From here, you're gonna press over your head, pull back. Make sure that you lift up through the hips, but then come back to a side plank. Don't drop those hips down. Come neutral, over and back, over and back. We're gonna hold right side plank right here. Try and twist up and look towards the ceiling. If it's too much on your wrist, you can lower down to your elbow. Dog is in there. She thinks I'm gonna swim. She's 
pacing back and forth in front of the door. Left side is next, same thing. Reach under and back up. If it's too much on your wrist, you can lower down onto your elbow. Reach under. It's not really a giant move. It's more, like I said, think about it. It's your obliques. You've got to concentrate. Reach over and pull back. Over. Reach out of that shoulder. Lift those hips. Contract the left oblique. And then when you pull back, contract the right as well to come back. And then we're going to engage both and hold. Tighten that core and hold. Look up to the ceiling if you can. That way you're not twisting down and sinking your hips. And we got right runner stomp next. So we're going to get in a squat position with our left leg. And the right leg's going to go back. Right runner stomp looks like this. And okay. Now, if you're a beginner or you're breathing really hard and you don't want to be down, it's right here. You don't have to go all the way down. Your range of motion might make you stay up. Oh, okay. Plant that left leg. Right glute lift. Right glute lift. If you're not on a bench, it looks like this. Glute lift. Glute lift. If your balance is not good, you can hold on to a wall, to a chair. Plant it, hold it, and squeeze it. Bend that left leg. Oh, sweat's running off me already. Squeezing that right glute. If you bend that leg and engage the core, you get a better balance. When your leg is straight, you wobble more. Focus on something in front of you. Left side, right leg is planted. Left pulls in. Weight is in the heels. Whoopsie. Keep that butt low, okay? Keep it, drop it. Drop it to the floor as much as you can. We'll plant that right leg. Left leg goes up. We're going to do one more round through of this before we move on. I'll grab the light dumbbells and show you if you want to use dumbbells with it. You can do all three of your rounds with dumbbells. Hold it up there and pulse. Bend that right leg. Pulse. Focus on your balance. Tighten the core. Squeeze that left butt cheek. You breathing hard? I am. And it's only the first round. Woo! <laughs> okay. My timers are giving me fits. I went to the old one. My new one, it's not new anymore, it's old. But my mini, it lets me do different intervals. I don't know if it's got too much sweat in it or what. Speaking of sweat, let me wipe this off and let's get started. Okay, if you want to use dumbbells, this is what it looks like. Right leg is planted. Now, if you don't have a box, a bench, a coffee table, and you want to make it a little bit harder, you can add the weights right to the floor, just like I showed you. It would look like this. Okay, turn, single leg balance squat, press up, down, press up. Squeeze shoulders and glutes as you come up. And hold it down and pulse, pulse it down. Oh, my legs are on fire. We're gonna do the left side next. I gotta move my bench. So you keep, you can start. Don't wait for me. Left out. Or left up, right out. You can do a bicep curl if you want. But really, the focus is in the legs. Press up. Down and up and up 
If you don't want to add the press, you can just hold them down. And pulse, 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 press. Whew. As you lift up, as you pulse up, contract that glute. You should feel it from the upper top part of the glute being gluteus maximus all the way to the lower. Whoa. Okay, obliques are next. Right side, twist under. As you bring your arm under, you raise your hips up and contract that right oblique. Now you're gonna reach overhead and pull back over. It becomes a shoulder move when you hold this weight. You can't have too heavy a weight or you forget about your obliques and it just becomes a press. Hold it up. That's why I don't do any weight normally on these because it is a timed thing and you don't want to use momentum. My arm's shaking. I'm almost glad we're breaking it up. I probably won't be till we get done with the cardio end of it. Okay, twist left side, twist under. Contract that left oblique, reach up, follow it with your eyes and your head. Look towards the ceiling, contract your left oblique as you lift up. You feel it in the right as well. You're engaging both sides. Now listen, if the pressing over and pulling back is too much, you can hold it over in a side reach plank Hold it there and engage. And then we're going to do a side plank hold. Look up to the ceiling as much as possible. I don't know how many of you sweat like I do, but holy smokes, I get started and it immediately starts pouring off of me. Like I said, I was moving everything, but I missed. I missed something. Oh, the runner stomp. I'm not done. I'm talking. Sorry about that. Duh. Having a blonde moment. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Up. Right glute lift. Right glute lift. Now you can hold the weights for this if you want to. You'd hold them down. I put them down. Okay. Hold it up. Pulse up, pulse up. Oh, it is humid out here today. Wow, 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 wow. We were spoiled the last couple of days. Our humidity was low and it was nice and cool. Oh, left runner stomp, I won't forget. Okay. Oh. Like I said, I'll have this full breakdown on MyCrazyWorkout.com along with the video. It's also on YouTube for those, who, those of you who subscribe to YouTube. Okay, press and lift up. I also have a Facebook page, although I'm not big. I post it to my Facebook page again. It's MyCrazyWorkout.com. I need to get better at putting stuff on there. But I'm so busy through the day because I have three boys and a dog and a husband and I don't have a whole lot of time, you know, between doing the videos and editing them. I'm a one man, one woman show. I don't have anybody doing all that for me. I'm doing it. So it chews up a big chunk of my time. Woo. Okay. All right. Gonna move the box out of the way. Oh, I'm gonna grab my towel. Grab a drink. This is where you can have a break. Okay, towel off, get a drink. We've got 11 exercises. I have to set up my timer. It's a minute, no rest, okay? So we're gonna go one through the next, through the next. 
No rest on them. I have to do it old school here. I gotta cycle through them. Not used to that. Okay, and there are 11 exercises and we're gonna do two rounds of it. So I am gonna go 11 rounds and then we're gonna towel off real quick and jump back into the next round of 11. And then we're going back to that crazy box, okay? Crazy legs. Cra I should have called it crazy legs today, right? Okay, did you get yourself a drink? Again, 11 exercises will be written and broken down. I'll say them as we're doing them. I have my lemon water. I hope you have water. Drink lots of water throughout this. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this down because there are a couple exercises. I need this in front of me. Like I said, I didn't really get to practice this one other than sort of trying out the moves. So you and you and I are doing it together. I'm gonna move the box out of the way. Gotta remember to wipe the sweat off or my feet will slip. slip. Okay, I'm gonna hit this timer. I'm gonna move the sandbag out here because we're gonna do a sandbag move eventually. We are gonna do a squat low with two high knee jogs till the beeper beeps. And then we are going into an up and down. So you're gonna be in an elbow plank and you're gonna stay down and you're gonna do a hip tap, right and left. And then we're gonna come up and do the left side. Okay, so we're gonna alternate it. We'll go out, uh, don't worry, you'll get it. Squat, jog, squat, high knees, high knees. Now listen, if the jogging's too much, just lift them, high knees. You don't have to jog. If coming off the ground with both feet is too much and you're a beginner, start here. And if you're even less, start here. It's okay. Do what you can. Work at your level. She'll, she'll feel heavy picking those legs up after that glute work because you are engaging the glutes to pull your knees up after you squat. Remember, when this goes off, we're going into an elbow plank. Up and down. Hip tap right, hip tap left. Up and down, hip tap left, and hip tap right, right, and down. Go right and left. You're just alternating them. Engage that core. Up and down, right and left. And left. And right. We should be going to a reverse right lunge, crossover lunge, and then around the world. So the right leg is going to step behind the left leg. That's next. Just preparing you. Okay, so you can grab your weight right and around the world. Step back right and around the world. Cross over and around the world. Twist it. We're getting those obliques again, as well as the butt. Bring it around. Keep your elbows close. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell or no weight at all if you're a beginner. You don't have to use a weight. Just keep the arms close as you come around and engage the obliques, the waist. Who needs a waist since your Kardashians? Just do a couple of these. We'll get that waist. We won't have to be uncomfortable and not be able to breathe and not be able to sit. Woo, now the left side. Left side and around. Cross down and around. Cross down, twist it over. Reaching over, you contract the right oblique 
And then as you come around, you get the right and the left. Come around. Oh, we go down to the floor next. We're gonna do a crisscross glute lift. We're gonna cross our feet halfway through at 30. We're gonna uncross and go the opposite way. I hope you're feeling good. Hope you're not rushing through this. Contract. Make sure you're contracting those muscles. Feel it. Weight shouldn't be super heavy that all you're using is momentum. Oh. Talk through it once. Oh. Okay. God, I thought there was something wrong with my timer for a minute. Crisscross feet. Cross those feet. Squeeze those thighs together and a glute lift. Okay, I need my timer here. So at 30 seconds, we can uncross and do the opposite leg. Press those thighs, hold them together. Don't let them flare out. Okay, squeeze your inner thighs. Press through the heels. Work the glutes and the thighs. Ready, uncross. And the other way. Cross those feet and Squeeze those inner thighs like you're holding a ball between your legs. You want to squeeze it and hold them, hold that ball in so it doesn't fall out. We're going to do a push up. We're going to drag the weight underneath our chest to a side uh, plank. Okay? I'll show you. That's next, as soon as our timer goes off. Oh, I can feel this in my butt. All right. Okay. Push up. Plank position, push up, hold under, and rotate. Push up, pull your back under, and rotate. If you don't have a bag and you have a weight, same thing. Push up. If you're a beginner and you need to go to your knees, you push up, pull it under, and rotate. Push up, you're on your knees, pull it under, and rotate. Push up, pull it under, and rotate. Push up, next is a skater. Pull it under, and rotate. Okay. Skater going right to left with a front lunge. Front lunge out. Skate over. Front lunge. Skate over. Front lunge. You're lunging with the leg that goes back behind. If you're a beginner, step over, lunge out. Step over, lunge out. Hop over. Adding a heart hop. Gets that heart rate up. Whew. Whew. Gotta look and see what's next so I don't go out of order on you. Oh, we're doing the squats. Lunge. Lunge. And then, of course, we can't have a workout without a burpee, right? I like curse you. Okay, squat, you're gonna kneel. Come back up, hold and pulse three times. One, two, three. Now left, left, right, hold, come up and hold. One, two, three. Now right, right, left, right, left. Pulse, one, two, three. Now left, left, right, left, right, and pulse. Now right, right. And left. If you're a beginner and you can't hold down and pulse, just stand up, okay? Back down. If this hurts your knees, you can double up on the towel or a mat. If it's too much, just stay in the squat position and pulse. You don't want your knees to pulse over your toes, though. Okay. Crab dance. Wait till you see this one. Right, left. So you're gonna go right arm, then left arm. Hold here, reach up out. Now, left, 
right. Reach up out, tabletop, right, left. Reach out for those obliques, left, and reach out. Use that right arm and left arm, and reach up. Squeeze that butt as you lift up into that tabletop position. Woo! And the oblique, or the abs, and the obliques, and the legs. You're getting everything. You know we're going to a burpee next, right? Oh, sorry. I messed up. See what I get for teasing you. Right? Left. Woo! Okay. Side lunge, front, side lunge, front lunge, burpee. Side, front, down. Now left side. Left side lunge, front lunge, down. Right side lunge, right, left. And burpee. Now left side. Side lunge, front lunge, and burpee. Don't forget to engage that core, okay? Hold everything tight. Train those muscles to stay in. Focus on that. Ooh. Focus on working the muscles that I'm telling you that it's working. You know the last one's not gonna be easy either. We're gonna do a wide squat, close. It's a, whoo, okay. So we're gonna hop out, hop in, donkey kick, hop wide, kick your butt down, kick your butt down, kick your butt, hop out, hop in, fall forward into a pike and kick your butt. Beginners, I show you, kick right, kick left, step out, step in, kick right, kick left, okay? Try and kick that butt in that bent position. Work those hamstrings. Shoulders, abs, and legs. Good job. We have one more round of that. Actually, two. But who's counting? We're going to do one more round. I'm sweating. Huh. Got all those exercises? Oh. Okay, I need a drink. I'm going to give you a minute here to catch your breath. Actually, for me to catch my breath. We're going to do one more round of part two. Then we're going back to part one. One time through it. And then finishing off with part two, one time through it. If, hey, if you want to go more than that, you go more than that. If you are advanced and this wasn't hard enough for you, by all means, add another round. All right. I saw I sweated all over that. I'm going to wipe it off before I go stepping up to it and kill myself. Okay, so. We're starting with the squats and the jogs, and then we're going to the elbow plank. Might as well do this, right? Squat, jog, squat, jog. Remember, beginners, knee, knee, down, knee, knee. You don't have to squat as low as me. You go to your range of motion. If your squat looks like that, work on getting it lower each time. You'll get stronger, you'll get there. Open that mouth and breathe. Your muscles need oxygen. That's how they grow and build. Get some oxygen in there. Don't be afraid to breathe. Open it up, don't hold your breath. You'll pass out on me. Woo. Elbow plank, 
remember, up and down, tap right, tap left, left and down, tap left and right, up and down, tap and tap. Concentrate on when you're taking those hips to the side, that you're working the oblique. You gotta engage it so it doesn't just drop down. Contract the oblique muscles, hold them tight. You should feel that pull. Not a bad pull, but you should feel it working. Oh, I feel it working. Now listen, if we finish this round here and you're tired and you're done, you don't have to come with me for the next one. Okay, you know those reverse lunges are next. Reverse crossover lunge. Right legs first, then come around. Whew, lost my balance. Oh, my hands are sweaty. Glad I have the kettlebell and not the dumbbell. I probably would have thrown it out of my hands. I need the handle to grip a hold of. This one's a 12 pounder. I'm not going heavy on it because I'm concentrating. When I come down, I'm squeezing that right glute as I step behind and I'm twisting over. So I'm contracting that left oblique when I press that weight down. And then as I come around, I'm getting my right and my left oblique, as well as my shoulders. My arms are in close. Can you feel that? I can. That's the pounds melting away, right? Left side. <laughs> I know I'm weird. <laughs> Gotta have fun with it, right? Okay, twisting to the right side. Right oblique, left glute, and then right and left oblique and shoulders as you come around. Those crazy glute lifts are next. Crisscross glute raise is what I'm calling them. And by all means, if you want to make it harder and add weight, you go right ahead and add weight. Like I said, don't make it too hard that you're using momentum. If you want to hold a weight when you're doing these or you want to put a ball between your legs, you go right ahead. I need to watch my timer though. Squeeze those thighs together. Feel your inner thighs. Feel those inner thighs contracting. Tighten that butt and squeeze. Press through those heels. Eight seconds and we're going to switch legs. Right leg's going to go under. Right now, left leg's gonna go out and press. Pull those thighs together as you lift up. I got dog hair on me. God. You can hold a weight here if you want, or you can put a ball between your knees, or a block, or a ring, whatever you have, if you wanna squeeze it together, if it helps you to concentrate on squeezing those thighs. When's, oh, I was going to say, when's that minute going to beep? Okay, we are going into the push up with the bag drag. Okay, push up, drag it, and rotate. Good form on your push ups, please. You want to keep that back flat, abs are engaged. Don't let your hips or your stomach sink down if they're sinking. Drop to your knees and do your push-up. You will get better if you get tired. Drop to your knees. It's not about going fast through these. It's about engaging those muscles, okay? Anybody can go fast and use momentum. Whew. Let's 
Skaters are next. Front lunge. Skater and front lunge. Skater, front lunge. Hop over, front lunge. Hop over, front lunge. Oh, I'm shiny. I can see it. I can see my reflection in the window. You know those down ups, those kneeling ones are next. I'm gonna grab the kettlebell. If you wanna do a weight, I'll show you what you can do. And I know my legs are on fire. I don't know about yours, but mine are. You can hold the weights. You can hold the dumbbells with the skaters as well. Put that weight right there. Kneel, right, left, right. Grab that weight, pulse, two, three. Left, right, left, right, and pulse, two, three. Right, you can hold it the whole time if you want. Pulse, two, three. Just don't compromise your position. Don't lean forward in your squat. You wanna be on a 45 degree angle, but you don't wanna be bent at the waist. You wanna put that weight in the legs and you wanna press up out of those heels and squeeze that butt. One, two, three. Left, right, left, and one, two, three. Oh. Crab dance. Hope you like this one. We get everything. Right, left, hold, and reach. Left, right, hold, and reach. Left, right, hold, and reach. Right, left, hold, and reach. Up, two, hold, and reach. Can you feel them? I can. You know burpees are next, right? Probably never been so happy to see burpees in your life till you do these. Okay. Side lunge, front lunge, and a burpee. Side lunge, front lunge, burpee down. Left side lunge, left front lunge, and burpee. Right and front, and burpee. Left and front. Good move this 
stuff out of the way. Now, if you want to stop, you stop here. If you want to keep going, we're going to circle back to part one. Grab a drink. I need to set up my timer. Oh, wow. Can you feel that? You're going to feel it on this next one. If you don't, man, you're superhuman. Because I feel it. Now, you might want to skip the weights, but I don't know. You might not. Whoops, I hit 19 instead of 18. We don't want an off number. Screw us up there. There we go. Now I hit 17. Oh, I don't like this timer. Oh, you just get this. I just waste my minute. I don't get a drink. I will take a drink before we start it because I have to move the bench in. Drink before, during, and after your workouts. Do not let yourself get dehydrated. Drink, 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 drink. It flushes the system. Drink your water. I'll go through five or six of these a day at least, plus extra water bottles. If I'm running around and have to go grocery shopping or something. Okay. Remember these? It's our 2020. I'm not doing weights. If you want to do weights, you go right ahead and do weights. I don't care. I'm not doing weights. I'm talking. I'm turning on that fan, though. I can tell you that. Okay, as soon as I hit this, remember, we're going to the right foot up and side leg lift. Oh, that feels good. Should have had that on from the get-go. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, four. And you're not holding up there and pressing out. I want you to come back down because I want you to press through the heel and engage that glute. You should be able to smack that butt and it should feel nice and tight as you're working it. One. Oh, I didn't move my box back far enough. Don't let that knee go past that toe when you bend down into your balance squat. I'm not going to drop as low because I don't want to compromise my knee, but I don't want to be out of the frame of the video either. Ooh. Can you feel them? I can feel them. I'm glad we're only doing one round of these because we got to go back and do part two one more time through. Whose idea was this? Sounded good in my head. Press through and lift. The neighbors have coffee and watch and listen. <laughs> At least they're not mowing the grass today, right? Okay. Single leg balance squat. Down and up. Knee is lined up with the ankle. It stays behind the toe as you drop down. I guess it'd be worse if you were having a coffee and a cigarette and watching, huh? Pulse. Abs are next. Oh, I don't know about you, but I can feel that. Right side plank. Oh, twist it under. Hey, if you want to get really crazy, you can put your feet up and elevate your feet for a right side plank. Don't compromise your form, though. Reach. Reach over and pull back. Reach over and back. Over. Back. Over. We're going to the left side next. Then we got those runner stomps. Reach under and up. This is warming you up for those push-ups with the bag drag and the twist. I can't talk. Losing my form. 
Press over and back. Over. Over. Uh, press those hips up as you reach over the head. Hold it, side plank hold. Engage that core. Some of you might be really strong, really well at balance. You can lift that leg up and balance. Really, just focus on the obliques. I'm not that good. Okay, right leg, runner stomp. I won't forget this time, I promise. I get to talking and my brain's moving faster than my mouth. Or my mouth is moving faster than my brain. Okay, right, glute left. Again. Press through that left heel. Engage that left glute. And then squeeze the right as you lift it up. Oh. The balance one is where you're gonna feel it. Bend that leg. Oh, I can feel my leg wobbling. I don't know if you can see it, but I can feel it. Engage that core. Squeeze that butt. Okay, left foot stomp. You know what this means. All we have is part two and we're done. Stay low. Pull that leg in. Engage that right glute. And as you pull that left leg in and stomp, you get that left glute. Again, engage the right, press up, squeeze the left. We're not leaving either side out on these. We have a well-rounded butt exercise. Get it? Well-rounded. Ha ha. Hold. Hold it up. Bend that leg. Pick a spot. Lift. Listen, you're not flinging that leg up real high. Don't compromise the back. Engage the core. Squeeze the back. Core and back are tight, holding you stable. Left, right leg is bent. Oh, what I miss? I missed something while I was talking. I didn't think I did. Did I miss the pulse? I think I did. Ah, uh, the single leg balance squat? No, I don't think I did. I thought we hit them all. You'll tell me. Tell me in the comments what I missed. I'll see it when I'm doing the video. I missed something. Okay. You get a breather here a minute. I gotta reset this. I missed my other timer. I ordered a new one. It's coming. Okay, and we're doing 11 exercises. Only one time through on these, and then we're all done. Okay, so move the box out of the way. Move it back here. Move my towel, my blanket back out. I need my sandbag back out. If you want to use the weights for the last round through, you can. You can start out using them. If you decide you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm going to move this over here because I'm going to need it for the crossover lunges. Okay. All right, you ready? We're not wasting any time. Two. Three. Four. Get those legs up. Can. and my butt. Okay, 
Uh, oh, elbow planks. Draw a blank there for a minute. Up and down. Hip drop right and left. Now up left and down. Engage that core. Right and down. Tap right and left. Left and down. Tap left and right. Right and down. Tap right and left. Left, down. Tap left and right. Right, down. You're getting everything. Chest, shoulders, arms, obliques, core. You've got to hold it. everything. Engage all of your muscles. Woo. Right crossover and around the world. Twist it and around. I should turn and face you, shouldn't I? And around. Cross behind and around. Behind and around. Twist it down. Feel that left oblique contract when you take that weight down. And go around that head. Keep those elbows in. Work in the shoulders and the waist, the obliques. Left legs next. Okay, left leg. We'll do it this way. No, I don't like that. This way. There we go. And around. Twist it around. Right oblique when you come down. Crunch and around. Crunch and around. Around. Glutes next. Remember the crisscross glutes? up as you lift those hips up I should say and squeeze the glutes we're going to that push-up next push up drag your weight under your chest to a side plank side arm raise can you feel that I hope you can push up oh, I think my back's too far there we go and roll. Push up. And roll. Push up. Plank raise. 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 Oh, 
skaters. Skater, skater, skater with a front lunge. Hop over, front lunge. Hop over, front lunge. Hop over, front lunge. Hmm. Remember, you don't have to hop. You can step over, front lunge. Step over, front lunge. Hopping just elevates that heart a little bit more. Balance, keep that leg off the floor when you pull it over and then come forward into your front lunge. Are your legs tired? If they're not, you can start this video over and do it again. Oh, kneeling's next. Down, come up, hold low, pulse, two, three. Down, come up, hold, pulse, two, three. Down, come up, hold, pulse, two, three. Down, come up, hold, pulse, two, three. Left leg, down, come up, and pulse, one, two, three. Right leg, down, come up. You know that crab dance is next, don't you? Down and up. Pressing up. You can really feel it in your quads. Right here, when I plant and pull up, I can feel it. You engage them. Okay, crab dance. Ready for this? Do you have a choice? Right? Ooh, sorry, reach up. Two, reach up. Press up through those hips. Oh, tabletop position. It's just a three-legged tabletop. Two, oh, press up. One, two, oh. I make a lot. Up, up, press up, 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 and press, up, up, tabletop, oh, getting tired, how about you, don't compromise your form, press up, oh, burpees, can't have a workout without it, right? Different variations. <clears throat> Left, side lunge, front lunge, and burpee. Right, and left, and burpee. You know we're gonna finish out kicking our butts, right? <clears throat> right, and left. And right. Right. Left. And right. Okay, you ready? Out, in, butt kick. Out, in, Butt kick, out, in, butt kick, out, in, butt kick. Oh. 
you're done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh. Okay. Oh. Good workout. 360 calories. Seems like we should have burned more than that. But I'll take it. Grab a drink. If you want to stretch with me, I'm going to put it on here. If you don't, you don't have to. Some people stretch at the end of the night. And I stretch when I'm done because my muscles are so tight. Bring those feet in. They're not going to come in. They might come in far. Mine aren't. Butterfly those feet. Sort of just flap them up and down. Don't press them down. Don't take your hands and push down on your knees and force your muscles to stretch out. You'll end up pulling a muscle. Just release them a little bit. Butterfly your legs here. Oh, you gotta stretch out those hips and that butt. So this is gonna be a hip butt stretch today. You're gonna take that right leg and you're gonna move it out of the way. The left leg is gonna pull under the right leg and the right leg is gonna cross over the left knee. Now, I can't get my knees flat. I'm not that flexible, so I can't get them to touch. From here, lift up through your core. Lift your chest up, keep your back straight. Deep breath, inhale, and we're gonna walk the hands out so that they lay, so your chest lays on your top leg, on your right leg. You wanna keep the hips on the floor. You should feel this, you should feel this right through the hips, right in the hips, right here, in the sides of the glutes, and you're gonna inhale and lift up. And then you're gonna exhale and you're gonna lower that chest down. Each time you inhale and exhale, as you exhale, you're pushing that uh, pain, the, the tightness out of the hips. You should feel it release and you should be able to go just a little bit lower or you can walk your hands a little bit further out. But you should feel that in the hips. Your back is flat. Don't round your back. We're not rounding our back flat back, lay it on your chest, if, or your, lay your chest on your legs. If you can't go that far, go as far as you can, but think of leading with your chin. You wanna push your chin out to the floor. And release it. We're gonna uncross that right leg. And actually, keep it here, just twist it up. You're gonna pull, you can either take the, oh darn it, you can either take the hand past the knee, the elbow past the knee. There we go. Oh. I gotta get rid of this thing. There we go. All right, take the elbow past the knee or wrap it around the knee. Pull in on the leg and feel that stretch through the right hip. Take your, left, or your right arm, press it back behind you. Make sure you're sitting up straight and twist your chin over your right shoulder. You should feel a nice stretch in the right obliques as well as in that right hip. And release it. Now you can uncross those legs, bring them straight out. If you need a towel or a band, wrap it around your feet. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale again, down with the chest. Lead your chin out. Don't look down and round your back. Keep your chin, chin lifted, and you wanna feel a nice pull through the hamstrings. It's a nice stretch in the hamstrings. You should feel a nice stretch through the lower back as well. Engage the abdominals. Keep them sucked in. Don't let them lay on your legs. You wanna hold them in. Now, you might be here, that's okay. With each breath, inhale, exhale, and see if you can go just a little bit further. See if you can grab your toes without tucking your head and rounding your back. Your back is straight. And release it. Put your hands down in staff position. Mark them slightly behind your butt and up into a reverse plank. Stretch out that back. Suck in that stomach and release it down. Okay. Now, we're gonna cross that right leg under and that left leg's gonna come on top. Again, 
You want your hips to sit on the floor. So if that means you have to move your leg out to get them, you want them both engaged on the floor. And you should feel that without ever leaning forward, unless you're super flexible, then you'll probably have to lean forward to feel it. Now drop your chest to your legs, to your quads, and you should feel that stretch through the hips. I feel it more in the right hip because like I said, I injured my right glute a while ago and I'm still working trying to get all of the stiffness and the pull out of that. So I do a lot of stretching and I do yoga that helps uh, to, to loosen up my hips. I have tight hips. Deep breath, inhale and exhale. Lower it down. Breathe and feel all of that, that pain, not bad pain, but all of that tightness from working them. You should just feel it release as you inhale and exhale. And then walk your hands back up and bring your left foot up. Keep your right foot here. Bring Either bring your elbow around to your knee or hold on to your knee. I don't, I don't like to do this one because I have a tendency to pull on my back too much. So I like to hold on to my knee and pull my pull around my knee, pull it in. That way I feel the stretch in my hip. And then I put my left hand back behind my butt and then look over your left shoulder. Make sure you're sitting up. Don't sink down. Try and look up towards the ceiling. That'll force you to hold your back straight and your abs tight. Look over, you should feel that nice stretch in the obliques, the external obliques on that left side. And release it. Now, bring those legs back around, straight out into staff position. One more time, if you need, your, if you need a band or a towel to wrap around your feet, inhale, deep breath, sit up straight. Exhale, lower down. See if you can drop your chest down to your quads. Inhale, raise up a little bit. Exhale and lower back down. Feel a nice pull in the hamstrings. Nice stretching out the backs of the legs all the way up, tie into the glutes. Walk the hands back up. Plant them behind, up into a reverse plank. Stretch out those backs and release it. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. We're gonna bend that right leg back for a runner stretch. If this hurts your knee, come up on into a kneeling position and I'll show you that one. But if you're gonna do this one, come back into the runner stretch, suck in that stomach. If you can, drop your elbows down to the floor. If you can go all the way down without your right leg lifting off the floor, go ahead and feel that stretch. You're getting the quadricep and the hip flexors. Now, for those that this feels uncomfortable for, you would be in a kneeling position and you're going to lunge forward. You want the right knee back past the glute and you want to lift up out of the chest and the hips, and you wanna press the hips forward and feel that stretch in the hip flexor on the right leg. Everybody release it. If you're in the folded back position, you slowly walk your hands back up and you bring your leg back around. And the left leg goes back. And you're gonna lay down. Okay, this is a runner's lunge. This stretches out the quad and the hip flexors. The hip flexors are what gets tight and limits your range of motion with the hips as to how far you can go. If you're doing it in an upward position, you would be in a kneeling position. Left leg's kneeling back, right leg's coming forward. Press in on that hip. Feel that stretch through the hip flexor on the left leg. Pelvic tilt. You want to tighten the uh, pelvic floor and the lower abdominals so that you, the weight isn't on the pressure of your lower back. You're not putting any pressure on your lower back. Okay? All right, now to come back out, if you're in that runner's lunge, you're gonna come up like so. Bring it around. Bring those feet to the front one more time. Pull them in. Butterfly those legs.
Bring your legs together and come up into a kneeling position and come back into a child's pose. Let's stretch that back out. Drop those head, the head to the floor if you can, elbows to the floor. You want to take all the tension off of your shoulders and your arms, so you want to lower them down. Drop the butt down towards the feet. Now, spread those knees and do a wide child's pose, and you should feel this right here in the hips, okay? Engage that core, don't let that stomach hang down. And release it, come forward and kneel and press into your hands and your feet for a downward dog. Press the heels down to the floor as much as you can. Press the chest in towards the quads. Stretch out that back, stretch out the chest. Abs are engaged, the core is engaged, abs are tight. You're gonna bend those knees and you're gonna walk, walk. Walk your feet to your hands, right here. You're gonna take those hands underneath the feet, straighten out the legs, slight bend in the knee. Should not be locked out, okay? Nice stretch down the hamstring, suck in that stomach. Deep breath, inhale, exhale, come to a flat back. Tuck that head and open up. We are done, 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 done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different, just to change it up a little bit. Uh, have a good day and uh, send me some comments and let me know what you think.